Hello everybody and welcome back to Thomcraft. Today um, something quite cool happened. 1.2.3b came out. So a lot of cool stuff happened in it and one of the big things that happened in it is the fact that there is a new thing you need to research which is lost and it's this one here which I, I do not have. Also a very nice thing it tells you in the research column is it tells you how much uh, V's it will take to actually make an item which I think is quite cool but um, the main thing is this lost piece of research and I believe it's the only one but we might as well check Let's see don't think so unless there's one here there is not so cool we just need to do some lost stuff and I believe I can do that straight away in my in Quizim and with just get the bookcases and everything should be cool and awesome got some lost fragments still there from last time but if I use bookshelves it should be cool to be honest I don't know why I'm not using the brains yet um, never really installed them oh well it's not too bad cool so that's got five I think five is enough to achieve something and at 40% roughly success rate it should all be good straight away got an insert carpet that's a hard though uh, I'll see if I get some, any easier ones I seem to be getting one per piece. Nope, didn't get one there. Because uh, I'd rather do a trivial one. <laughs> oh, no, not tortuous. Too tortuous, wow. Uh, I think uh, the hard will be the easiest one to do then. 65% success rate, not too bad. Awesome, so that's almost done now. And uh, the insert carpet is the new flying carpet. Um, although, except the insert carpet itself isn't the actual flying carpet, it is just one of the steps so I think you I'm, I'm not entirely sure but I think you may need to do some like another infusion with a potion or not a potion it's like a it's like an air thing wait let's have a look uh, let's see it is one of these things a extract of lightest air so you need to infuse it with one of those Um. oh and I got the insert carpet nice let's have a look at how hard it is to make oh you don't even need to oh Oh, whoa. What? Oh, no, okay, sorry. For a second, I, th I thought that was the flying carpet. <laughs> um, okay, a magic carpet which will allow you to soar through the air like a bird. Currently, it is an insert. You must first infuse it with an extract of lightest air to uh, charge it. Its magic will not last forever and you'll need to be recharged. Okay, so it needs just to be constantly recharged with lightest air, but apart from that, it is pretty much um, infinite. You know, you'll never, like, lose it due to damage or anything. So it's sort of infinite. It just runs out of magical power. So I need to find a way to get some of this magic lightest air stuff. Also, while we're here, might as well check on our experiment, see if it's going. It uh, seems like red has got another one and yellow has and blue and v normal V's have still got nothing so that's interesting Um. so yeah okay so let's first of all make the insert carpet before anything and how you do that is you need your some enchanted fabric and some string so how you do that is an aqueous crystal uh, wool and some string and then you can make your enchanted fabric which is awesome and once that is done I can take it and put it into a crafting recipe and then I can get my insert carpet oh I made one little cool better now fixed it so let's see that should work right yes there it is so um, pretty much I yeah, just put it in the infuser with some extract with like lettuce air extract and it will fill it up obviously because I don't have any on me I won't be able to get any but uh, we'll try and find a way of doing it now because I can't find a way on the forums and you have to remember I have no other real way of getting it or at least the information for it uh, so I'm just going to have to try and find out myself and I'll get back to you when I find out I've had an interesting idea what if you infuse those hmm no okay that doesn't work that was a good try though Let's try water bottles. Hmm, no. Okay. Nope, appears not to do it. I'm just realizing there could be a chance that it could also be a dark infusion. Um, no, appears to not. 
be. Ah, oh, it's very annoying when you don't know any of the stuff. Okay, so I found it out. It actually, you do um, need to have these sort of, uh, I forgot what you call them. Is it called Cider Pearls? It's something like that. Wait, let's have a look. Where are they on this? Uh, do, 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 do. Can't find them. Where is it? There. Shimmer Leaf. Sorry, that, that's the Cider Pearl. There. Shimmer Leaf. So you need these Shimmer Leaves and you combine them with a V's Crystal and something else. And you can collect them using this. Uh, also, I thought it'd probably be a wise idea uh, while I'm here to cut down the tree, which I appear to have left behind my axe. Oh well, I'll just cut it down manually. Although, a cool thing. Look, three trees in the area. That is pretty cool. Three trees. Some tinted land too. <laughs> How'd you get up there, sheep? Oh well. So, uh, I'm going to need to start cutting down this tree manually, which could be a pain, but oh well. And I'm going to collect the leaves, because the leaves um, actually are handy, apparently. So, I uh, got quite a decent amount of stuff from that. I got uh, almost a stack and a half of silverwood, uh, almost two stacks of the leaves, and eleven of the shimmer leaf flowers. So that is cool, except my sword is drained, so I'm going to have to go repair it. Um, I'll repair downstairs. I don't know, I quite like having that full now. I've sort of got used to it. Uh, so I'm going to just go down and repair it downstairs. Awesome. Okay, so I believe the recipe is shimmer leaf. I won't, I'll only use half of them because I'm not sure exactly how it works. And I need some... I forgot the these crystals. Okay, you got these crystals. Awesome. So it is uh, shimmer leaf. A bottle of water and a vase crystal, and yes, that is what is needed to be made for it. One annoying thing is you can't stack these bottles of water, so you kind of have to wait for them all to go, and then you get these things here called uh, um, what are they called? Extracts of purest magic. And I believe if you then infuse them with, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Wow, I'm a noob. Okay, so um, it turns out the recipe to get the uh, things of lightest air, extracts of lightest air, um, are made the exact way of getting the extracts of purest magic, except instead of these crystals, you use uh, vaporous crystals. And now, if I enchant these, I should be able to get my flying carpet. Cool. And then we obviously need one in there at any given time, but that should give me my carpet. Epic. So I got my flying carpet. So I can just head outside and then I put my carpet down and there it is. I love the animation on that. I just think it looks epic. So no way. So this is like any other thing. It's kind of like a boat I feel. It sort of feels like a boat when you're uh, riding it and it pretty much flies around. And you can go around and see all the cool stuff that you've done. For example, my... Uh, tinted land area so you can properly have a bird's eye view of this now and it's cool very cool awesome awesome oh and is that that is a chunk failure loadation thing and there's a ravine filled with tint and stuff epic anyways so that's cool and there's a ravine here as well let's go fly down the ravine Oh cool, there's a chest here. Let me just get off my carpet. Check the chest. Take the stuff. I can't take all the stuff. Uh, what can I do? What do I not need? Uh, do tinted crystals. I guess I don't really need them. Don't need that. And what else do I need? One more thing. Wait. It's not necessary. Anyway. Then I get back on my handy board and then I start flying away again. Very nice and very cool. So as you can see there is kind of like a hit point system thing at the top and that is the magic essence in it. And once that reaches zero it pretty much stops working and you'll need to uh, reuse it again as uh, with the purest or lightest air. I, ca I can never say any of those stuff right. But anyway yeah so uh, once that reaches zero you need to just pretty much need to refuel it in some ways. It's kind of like petrol. And I can 
fly right down to my base. Ow. <laughs> sort of. I don't think I'll be using this in my base that often. Oh, and my thing sucking me in. <laughs> Can't even go that way. It's so hard to control. At least when you're when it's fiddly, it's hard to control anyway. Like this. When you're moving around like this, it's hard to control. It's not too bad outside. It's when you're trying to go down a thin corridor. It keeps on spinning around. As I say, it's a bit like a boat. There we go. Ow. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Then I can just sort of fly down and park it there and get out. And that's it. And I believe if you do that, yeah, you get it back. That's cool. Wonder how well it travels down this. See how fast it goes. Oh, a bit fiddly, but still decent speed. It's faster than walking, I guess. Interesting. Let's see what it looks like from an F5 point of view. <laughs> I'm surfing the waves. So it turns out, me uh, making these extra acts of purest magic weren't a waste of after all, because if you uh, infuse them, you get the Elder Rich Keystone Lefeu. You know me, if I can't pronounce a word, I just sort of go bleh. But what you can do with this is a very, very cool, cool thing and it involves the monolith so I say we search it out now and I, what we do is we enter the monolith by me first of all breaking this which should take no time at all because I have epic pick and if I fly down here which I can't do because I'm using a uh, sword oh yeah I filled this with wood didn't I yeah. Don't want that. Yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to simply get the pickaxe and stream and go. You got left. What? What is this? A glitch, I see. That was weird. Anyway, so I'm not sure how well you can see this, but if I do things like say that. You'll notice that I open up a new area. That's pretty cool. And you can do it on all sides. So let's do that. And uh, that's all the ones I have, I, th I believe. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, if you had more light in here, you could say, no, I think that's as far as it goes. I don't think you can get even further in it in the separate rooms but if you cannot see which I'm guessing you can't really and I can't do much about that because uh, torches don't seem to really do any effect down here and uh, there are more chests so if I look in this chest I have some awesome stuff and then say if I go to the next room which you cannot either see cannot see either oh wow it's a lot of vapor crystals oh what uh, a lot of those crystals too wow Epic. I'm guessing um, they are down to like land, like because this used to be filled with land. This isn't like spawn like this. Uh, it used to be actually filled with proper land. It sort of generates in as you click the button thing. So I'm assuming they were things that were originally there. Oh uh, no, chest in this room. I'm guessing you can't destroy these or anything. No. Yeah, but I'm guessing um, the crystals were already there, and pretty much they. Uh, appear really but anyway um, I know I just sort of blabbered that entire thing and none of it made sense at all I tend to do that a lot but that is really all that the uh, blues do so let's head back up here if I get up here there we go and wow I already know it's night time whoa there we go Darn. there we go and we're gonna sleep epic so we got a decent amount of things there. We got uh, some of these, 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 some of these. I believe uh, these are breakable types now. Like, um, so I'm gonna go way out here because if they're not breakable again, I'm gonna kill myself. But I believe you can break these. Oh, what do you know? You can. So you can actually build kill cool stuff out of them if you like the dark texture, I guess. Um, you guess you could also do that. It's nice and covered, and you can just break it again. If 
fun fact. Next I'm going to make something which a lot of people have been asking me to do for quite a while now. And it's a very cool device and it is of course the crystallizer. It's a cool device. And uh, what it does is it pretty much converts uh, depleted crystals, which are these things here, back into normal crystals. But it does um, cost V's. And also with the new update you can now uh, change crystal types. So uh, let's think. An example here would be all my um, evil tainted crystals that I'm getting through all these things here. Um, I would be able to revert them into maybe a nicer type of crystal. So it's kind of reusable. It's kind of pointless though because I guess you're using up the crystal just to refill it again. So no, way, that makes no sense at all. But um, you know, it, it's it's a nice feature, definitely very nice feature. And I don't know why I was going there because I need to go here to get some diamonds. Uh, whoops, I need some. I'll make, uh, yeah, I'll only make one, I guess. And uh, what you also need is one of every crystal type. And by every crystal type, I don't mean V's crystal, I just mean normal crystals. I have some V's crystal downstairs in my machine, though. But yeah, by um, every crystal, I meant uh, you need every one of these, sort of one of these crystals, if you know what I mean, like the, the nice crystals, like uh, as you can see here, the nice crystals, not the depleted or tinted. Cool, so let's craft this. Um, I believe the crystal types can be in any order. I'm probably wrong with that though. Um, if this doesn't work it's because I've probably got them in the wrong order and I forgot the diamond or the iron and the gold. There we go. So um, I was told that it uh, can be any crystal type in any place or form but I know that goes there. Um, but I'm probably wrong with that, and by I'm probably wrong, I mean the guy who told me was probably wrong, and yes, what do you know, he was. So let's have a look. It's earthen, vaporous, V's, that, that, okay. Got it. So it's boom, 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 and boom. And I probably got that in the wrong order too. Uh, let's go. Damn it. What have I done wrong? Ah, uh, it's too gold. <laughs> I, why can I not do everything right? Last time. I'm going to do it this time. I know I am. Uh, I just need to remember the right V's crystal order. And I know it because I learnt it. And it is this order. And then the diamond. Yes, I got it. I am genius. Oh well. So I think I'm going to place it here. And in order to do that, I need to hook it up to my endless system of pumps and stuff and I believe that it should be fine if I just hook another thing up to there and I need one of them don't I? I do so I'm gonna quickly go and get one like that and if I do this and um, if I do I'll just do this for testing I'll break it straight away after I guess but no I didn't mean to do that <laughs> Oh yeah, because I forgot, you can't place uh, stuff on the conduits ca themselves, can you? And I can't place them anywhere else, so I'm going to have to replace the wood back here. Do that. Now, if I start depleting, or get some depleted crystals and do that. Yep, okay, so that works, and... Yeah, so cool, that works. Awesome. Um... Although, what's on that? I don't really want to do that because uh, I don't really want to change my crystal type. Um, or I don't want to waste all my V's on just getting new crystals. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of making crystal or using crystals for V's if you just use a crystallizer. But you know, there are, there are reasons and good uses for the crystallizer. Just sort of seems a bit weird using them for that reason which I just said to use them for a couple of minutes ago although let's have a look at what this changes it to hopefully it's not tainted it'll, I'll be happy with anything but uh, tainted so let's say come on do something nice do something nice these not bad not bad I guess um I guess what I could do Hmm, not sure. I don't know. But uh, let's actually, for the first time ever, harvest something from our 
part-time crystal farm. This isn't really the finished farm, but we might as well do something with it. Boom. So we're all back to one. So by the looks of things, the blue crystal and the uh, normal V's crystal doesn't really work um, for V's farming. So I guess uh, what we could do, <laughs> this sort of just defeats the purpose of what I just did there, but um, I guess what we could do is now that we know the types of crystals that go in certain areas, we could start working on a crystal farm. And I kind of want to have a crystal farm in here because I'm now not really using this room anymore. And it'd be kind of a cool place to have a crystal farm. And um, I could have maybe a wall of crystals. This will take forever to fill up, I know. But maybe we could do something like this wall here is green, this wall here is red, this wall here is yellow. Because I do know in this area uh, green, red and yellow grow. But while saying that, the uh, area type could change from here to here just due to chunk changes because that's definitely in different chunks. But um, we'll do another test, I guess. So let me get some more crystals. And by crystals, I meant ore types. And uh, let's grow them. So if I am, I am going to do green here, I might as well do green there. And I will guess I'll do yellow there. And I'll do red here. And obviously I'll get rid of these translucent blocks so that I can grow crystals along the entire wall. And I guess I'll have to implement lighting to the ceiling or something. Although uh, we might as well also try the crystals that uh, didn't grow over there, because as I say, they may grow here. And finally, we'll get to the totems of dawn. And uh, what would be kind of a cool idea is if we maybe uh, build them into the walls, maybe or something in the future. But for now, I'm just going to evenly spread them throughout the room, like that. I think that's evenly spread. And um, then every crystal sort of has an almost fair chance. Obviously, these, these ones have a little bit of an advantage, but uh, you know, it should be fine. I was about to start uh, doing my branch mine off camera, although I thought this would be kind of a cool time to start doing a little bit of a talk. So, um, a lot of people have recently been asking me for a world download, and that isn't um, sort of unexpected. I did expect all of you to be asking for a world download at some point and uh, since this is episode 15 I'm quite far on in the series and uh, it's sort of like a round number I guess you know 15, 15, 15 it's a good number, round number and a lot of people have been obviously asking for the world download as I said although I can't remember where I said this but I believe I did say somewhere in the series that I was going to do a world download at episode 20 now that was always the plan, I'm still sticking to that plan, the world download is going to be at episode 20 and it's um, just sort of going to be at episode 20 so that's all I really can say about that, I don't really know what else to say. Although I'm not really blaming you guys for wanting a world download because it is kind of cool, I would be asking for a world download from a YouTuber I really like if he didn't upload one after a while, uh, but you know I kind I quite like the sort of singleness of my world. I quite like having it just so it's my world. I'm definitely I'm not against having a world download. Um, I had a world download in my last series, and it didn't really affect the series at all. Um, and I'm not saying it is going to ever, but like, I d I don't know. I just kind of like having the idea of it's my world. It's you know, and it's a unique and to me. Whereas if everyone else had it, it's not really my world anymore is it? It's sort of like everyone's world which I do things on on a series. Oh that's a nice face crystal there. Plenty of stuff. Is that five? Yeah it's five. Epic. And uh, but anyway, so that is really all my thoughts on it and that's all I really have to say on it. So uh yes. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of stumbly. I'm always very stumbly. I'm trying to improve on my speech a little bit because I can never seem to say things right in videos. It's kind of funny. kind of makes me come out as a bit of a noob. Uh, when I trust you, I am. I am assure you that I am. I'm, I'm better at the game than I actually do sound. It's just when you're making a video, you're always on the spot sort of to say things at the right time and think of the right words and stuff and you're always sort of forgetting what the game itself and uh, needs space. So, you know, it's just, you have to sort of keep it in mind that I normally am 
less of a noob than I do sound, which is fun. And I think that's all I'm going to really do on this talky time bit, because I'm sure no one wants to hear me do talky time forever. Interesting. So uh, blue crystals do seem to grow in this chunk, and uh, the fire ones are also doing quite well. Uh, the green ones haven't grown yet, but then again you have to remember that uh, they were quite s uh, slow to start up at first, and then they sort of boosted way up, so you never know. You never know. But let's move on to the next thing we're planning to do today. And that is to extend the base. Because yes, you have been staring at this empty place for ages now, and I did say I would extend it in the future. So I think now would be a good time to start extending it. And uh, by we, I literally mean I'm probably going to do it all off camera and um, get back to you when I'm done. But, uh, you know, we're, we're going to build it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, let's do that now. So we've got the first part done. It looks quite cool. Um, I'm probably going to change this to the same sort of grass effect that I have um, here and up here. And uh, no doubt I'm obviously going to probably put stone uh, down the middle of it to add some sort of contrast between the stairs. Because I don't like the plain stairs. I always think plain stairs just like that look plain pretty much is the best way of putting it. Although um, I'm sort of wondering how would I decorate the room a little bit. I'm obviously going to be using uh, standard wood uh, along the edges here like that. Sort of to keep it... Um, looking the same as it has throughout the entire base but I'm trying to think of ideas for decoration and um, I started using this sort of strip of light birch wood uh, recently because I thought birch wood always looked very nice a lot of people were telling me that they didn't like the birch wood and that I should be maybe using dark wood and um, to be honest I don't really like the dark wood that much but I do like the birch wood and kind of like the opposite of other people um, and a lot of people told me that I should maybe do this like this, just to let you guys know, uh, just to make it add a little bit, like a bit more in, so it's a bit more like uh, in. I don't really know a good word for that. It's not so extrusive, I guess. Um, and I guess it sort of hides it a little better. But then again, the birch bit starts immediately. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. So. Um, I'm kind of wondering how to decorate this sort of style of the place here. Uh, I'm going to have some really cool things in, in this uh, sort of upper area here, like uh, maybe some more legit Minecraft stuff, maybe like um, storage room, furnace room, stuff like that. Because I'm going to try and make the base an actual proper base, just to sort of add Thumbcraft stuff to it. Because even though this is a theory or a series on Thumbcraft, I am going to try and keep the, or I'm trying to, yeah. Uh, keep the sort of standard Minecraft feel going through the series, you know? And I'm sure a lot of you probably have noticed that, and I probably have said it about a billion times as well throughout every episode. I tend to do that a lot. But it is getting quite cool, I think, and everything looks really cool here. So, uh, yeah. So I've got the staircase itself done. Um, the area around it, I still need to decorate a little bit more, obviously, because it is still a cave. But um, that's all I really want to do for this episode. And I have no idea how long it is, but I have a feeling it's kind of short. But then it's probably going to be like perfect dead on half an hour. And then it's probably not either. I don't know. But um, as you may have been able to tell, the episode was kind of a bit rushed today. That is because I am... Um, kind of in a little bit of a hurry to get this one finished and out there because um, I may not be able to get another one out for a while because as you all know I'm very busy and I have been for the last couple of um, days, maybe weeks if you'd call it, maybe it's only been about two weeks I guess um, and hopefully that will come to the end. The thing which is causing me to be busy is over within two weeks and once those two weeks are up it's pretty much back to normal hopefully um, but yeah so um, obviously I'm going to be entering a new part of the cave here and I was wondering uh, what type of highlight you would like me to use uh, for example over here I have been using the light wood and I kind of explained this before a couple of minutes ago I re do realize and over here I've been using the light wood again um, but I was wondering what type of wood you guys would like me to 
use. Um, I'm obviously going to have the plain wood. That's sort of out of the question. It's sort of going to be going to be my sort of standard wood type. Although I was wondering what the highlight should be. So should it be jungle wood or um, forest wood? I'm not really sure what to call that. Not forest wood. Um, snow biome wood, I guess, or birch tree wood. Um, personally, I prefer the birch tree wood because I kind I quite like the um, highlight of it. Like I like the way it's uh, bright. Uh, compared to the other ones, uh, then the other one I quite like is the jungle wood because I like the way it is. It's not too far off at you. Know, the standard wood, you know, it's just got that red tint to it, which I quite like. And finally, it has got this wood, or there is this wood, or whatever you want to call it. And personally, uh, this is probably my least favorite one, um, because I look at it and I think it, it. It still looks varnished, you know, like when you have that new wood which is just freshly varnished and it's that sort of brown colour. I think it looks just like that and I don't really like that colour of wood, to be honest. My favourite one would probably be the standard one of all time. Uh, that may just be because I'm used to it or something, I'm not sure, but I, I quite like that wood there. Then it would have to be the uh, sort of bright one and then the red one and then the dark one. So uh, yeah, so tell me what you kind of want me to use in my highlights. If uh, lots of people want me to use the dark one, I will. It's not like too big an issue, you know. It's not like um, ruining the base or anything for me. It's just sort of like using these ones. Um, just I prefer the contrast in these. I like the way that there's a different style of uh, texture on it. Really, uh, I don't like the way it's the same texture and a different color. I'm not sure, or like, I don't a different color, a darker color. Um, but yeah, so tell me what you guys want, and as I said, I'm probably going to end the episode up here, so uh, until next time, see ya!